can you answer this challenge question? Now, this is a variation of a problem that most med school students get wrong and even most doctors get wrong. Let's see if you can get it. Suppose that there is this deadly new disease, let's call it the elephant flu, that's breaking out across the United States. Now it's super contagious. So the scientists want to develop a test. They want to do it quickly that correctly identifies whether or not somebody has the flu. Let's suppose that this test correctly identifies whether or not a person has the flu 80% of the time. Meaning, a sick person would get a positive result 80% of the time, and a person who doesn't have the flu would get a negative result 80% of the time. And let's suppose that meanwhile, we actually know that 10% of the population right now truly does have the elephant flu. So here's the question. If a random person tests positive, What's the probability that he or she actually does have the elephant flu? Think about it, see if you can get it right, and then we'll talk. I think it really helps to visualize this problem and lots of other problems like it with a probability tree. So let me show you what that means. We know that 10% of the population actually has the flu, it said so in the problem. Meanwhile, that also tells us that 90% of the population does not currently have the flu. Well, of the 10% who had the flu, if they tested, 80% of them would come back with a positive test result. That would be correct. Meanwhile, 20% would come back with a negative test result. That'd be a false negative. That would be incorrect in their case. Let's go to the other branch of the tree. Of the 90% who truly don't have the flu, well, 80% of them would test negative and that would be correct. But 20% of the 90% would get a false positive, meaning the test would say they had the flu when in reality they don't. Now let's do some math and aggregate our numbers here. We know that 80% of the 10% have the flu and tested positive for it. That's 8% of the overall population. Meanwhile, 20% of the 90% who don't have the flu somehow mistakenly tested positive for it. That's 20% of 90% or 18% of the population. So in other words, 26% of the population in total have tested positive. But meanwhile, only 8% were actually sick. So if we do some math here, 8% were actually sick and also tested positive, divided by the 26% in total who tested positive, that means this test is only correctly identifying 31% of the time a person who actually has the elephant flu. There's a whole lot of false positives and we're gonna need a new test. Now, if you figured that out, you're a little quicker than most med school students and most doctors. That's pretty cool. And that was Think Fast. We'll see you next week.